Hey everyone, Shamia here with the Just Shamia Show, and we are with the lovely Ann Davis of Hair Divas. Hello. Hey. So, um, bulk hair, um, or, or bundled hair, what is the difference between that and what's in the package? Bulk hair is loose hair for braiding or uh, ventilating for wigs. Okay. It's loose hair. That's what bulk means. Mm -hmm. um, bundled hair is, um, um, give me an example. This is an example of a, uh, of a bundle okay. of hair. So it's probably between um, three and a half and four ounces. Um, and that's what they consider as a bundle. So hair is sold by the weight then? My hair is sold by the weight. Okay. Not their hair. And it's on a track, so this mm -hmm. will be used for weaving. Mm -hmm. Okay. But people can buy hair by the... The loose hair, they can for buy... Weight, for braiding. For braiding. I also have um, character pieces for um, the character bonding. Um, we have tape in extensions for the um, ones that want tape in. Tape in, I've never heard of that either. <laughs> so, so this would not be, because when I uh, when you heard of Brazilian or things or Remy or people thought about the wave or something like that, so this would be considered virgin hair, so virgin this, this, Indian hair. This is virgin Indian temple hair because this hair is coming from the temples of India. Okay. So this uh, particular woman, mm -hmm. I'm sure it was. Um, went and sacrificed her hair. So this is one DNA. So this came this came off her head that day when she sacrificed it. Wow. So this hair is 100% natural. The only thing that's been done is cleanse, cuticle, and weft. That's it. Oh, wow. So this is raw hair, so it's more of an indefinite usage. Amazing. Just like your hair until you cut it on your until scalp. You, until you cut it off you your scalp. You can use it indefinitely. Exactly. So that that's, um, brings me really um, uh, to my to my next question, which is how should people shop for hair? Because people wear their hair in, in different styles, lengths, colors. Mm -hmm. Should consumers only be buying bulk hair or virgin hair? Or should they also buy, you know, the stuff that comes in a bag or a package? How do you shop for hair? Um, personally, I... Um, I didn't discover this hair until five years ago and mm -hmm. when I actually got into this business and uh, personally I had developed a severe scalp irritation mm -hmm. for about 20 years and I was going back and forth to the doctors and they could not help me and um, I could only wear my weave for like three to four weeks mm -hmm. and it was just crazy and I was spending a lot of money because I had to get my hair done. I'm in corporate so I had to get my hair done. Right. And so I was spending like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars per year mm -hmm. and I didn't even discover what was going on until I started this business mm -hmm. when I start wearing the virgin Indian hair and now I can go like three and four months without even uh, with the hair in my head without even a problem mm -hmm. so that's why I went back to that um, the synthetic hair or the process hair um, personally I got the scalp irritation behind it Wow so you mentioned that your hair is virgin Indian temple hair <laughs> How do you know? Where where do you get it? Where does it come? Or like, do you know that it comes from? Is it just certified with a certificate in the package in the box that it comes from? Not the package. Package is a bad word. In the box yeah, that it comes from. <laughs> but how do you uh, how do you get the hair? So my hairs are uh, coming from um, uh, the factories in India. Okay. That, um, so it's like a, I do have a third party there because mm -hmm. they weft my hair for me. But my hair is actually coming from the temples of India. And how do I know? It's because I went there myself. Wow. Wow. Um, so what happened was when I started the business, I um, I come from finance, so I mm -hmm. had, I'm not in the hair industry, so I had to get myself educated on mm -hmm. what the product I wanted to sell. And so I was going back and forth to LA to all the different companies that sold this particular hair, asking them questions, and everybody had a different answer. Mm -hmm. So I was very confused. So then I decided just to go to the source. Okay. Because I did know it was coming from India. And so when you went to India, did you go to a temple where they were... Um, you know, sacrificing the hair and then just follow it from there? Did you know where to go? Well, to they, um, because I'm not Hindu, I couldn't actually witness mm -hmm. the um, shaving of their hair. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I was um, on the outside. I okay. was going in. So that far, um, I knew. Okay. Um, when I, um, pictures, documented. <clears throat> I was kind of wow. old. I sold it a lot. So this is one of the suppliers that I visited and uh, the different uh, factories that I visited. Uh, with the hair companies <coughs> and you see some grays in there mm -hmm. and, and black hair, hair. Um, okay from um youths to senior citizens everybody it's for their um i don't know why they do it exactly mm -hmm. but um everybody does it in their culture wow this particular hair is how they cuticle the hair and what that means is how the hair is um, bonded onto the weft 
it's direction that it um, grows out the human scalp. Okay, because hair grows in different directions out of the scalp. Exactly. So they kind of rake it over this combing. This um, little gadget here. Okay. A okay. heckler. Okay. And then they wash it? And they wash it. Okay. Everything pretty much by hand. Okay. Um, different little factories that I visited uh, when I was over there. Okay. So they uh, it's a variation of textures. Mm -hmm. So with Indian hair, it's all about texture. So we got anything from silky straight um, to kinky, curly. And yeah, we see in. here, this is more well, exactly. curly. Anything in between. So it's all about texture. Okay. Because everyone's hair is different exactly. on, their, on their scalp. Exactly. This is one of the biggest factories wow. that I visited. I'm going to just go back to the back of the book and to show you... Um, when I was in India, I want to show you the process here. Okay. Right here. This is process. Same exact thing. See that? Uh-huh. You see? And I see the colors mm -hmm, and everything. Mm -hmm. So but this, they started with the human hair that mm -hmm. they're cutting there and then they add the synthetic. Yeah, they add the synthetic. Uh, well, they start with the human hair. So with the process here, how it's made is um, all the extra hairs that's uh -huh. not um, 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 bundle mm -hmm. is used for process. Wow, so they just take all the little scraps around mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and mix it with... And mix it. So it's all different textures and it's all the same. And this is even how they weft the hair with an old-fashioned sewing machine. So wefting is the process of putting it on the track? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what wefting is. Wow. So yeah. And so they sew it on, so this is, looks exactly. like a very tedious pro process. So do you, um, now you have this relationship in place, do you go back and kind of like do quality inspections? Well, actually, um, I've went, um, been once, and I'm going back this year. Okay. Uh, because I have a, um, expanded my business to um, hair replacement. Okay. And so I'm going there for hair replacement uh, manufacturers. Wow. Specifically for hair replacement manufacturers. Amazing. Mm -hmm. What else should we know about hair? Hair divas, <laughs> the process. I mean, you kind of brought us from genesis of hair divas and your exploration and discovery in Los Angeles to your journey in India and really discovering how it goes from the heads at the temple, you know, to these factories mm -hmm. to, you know, really educating us on um, processed versus high quality processed blend and then the virgin Indian temple, temple hair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and all of that. So what else do people need to know? Um, about the virgin Indian temple hair, it's a little bit more maintenance. Uh -huh. uh, well, it is a lot more maintenance what it is with the process here. Because you have to literally treat this hair as it's grown out your scalp. Okay, so that means like washing and conditioning it yes, regularly. Yes, so we have um, products that we recommend and we are also sell here. Okay. And so the uh, consumer has every step of the way. I service them through every step of the way. Wonderful. To make sure that they can enjoy the quality here. Mm -hmm. So because like we're not, like a lot of women are not used to wearing this hair. Mm -hmm. So it's like a little process. Okay. So I kind of walked them through that process. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And protecting your investment. And then protecting your, your investment. Your hair is an investment. Exactly. Amazing. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that I noticed is in, in Hollywood and um, in local communities, there's a, a, a wig movement. People mm -hmm. are moving, um, I won't say away from weaves, but a lot more people are wearing wigs. Does the same hold true for buying and purchasing and wearing wigs as well? Exactly, absolutely. I have been encouraging women coming in to buy hair for a weave to get a wig. Okay. Yeah, just for the conditioner of the hair because it's like thin edge, um, mm -hmm. and edges is gone, which I'm a victim of that as well. Um, get a wig. Okay. Get a wig because a lot of women is, is wearing wigs. And you can get wigs in the virgin mm -hmm. Indian hair. We offer well. custom wigs. We make them ourselves. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Who who knew that there was all this mm -hmm. variety mm -hmm. in in hair, um, and and things that could be considered. So, um, this is is this, this is, a weave or what is this? This is a um, this is a ventilated um, custom made wig. Okay. Um, so ventilated means that these. Um, Hairs was um, installed in this um, net strand by strand. So like individual hair? In, individual hair. Oh my one gosh. by one. Yeah, it took a very long time to do this, but this is what we call a ventilated wig. Okay. But we also do custom dome cap wigs, which um, the hair is applied on the weft. Okay, with this is piece. amazing. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, again, you're getting the same quality mm -hmm. hair. That this is the quality of the hair that you're getting. You're getting okay. quality. And I can see in here you have some some gray mm -hmm. and some brown, and that's mm -hmm. natural. That's it's not saying natural. like it wasn't dyed properly. Mm -hmm. No, it's all natural. Okay, wow. And so for, if, if someone wanted to buy the Indian uh, hair, buying real hair, how do you know that you're getting the real deal? 
most women that comes into my establishment knows that they're mm -hmm. getting a real deal because you can it's a visual that okay. you can see like wow mm -hmm. i've never seen anything like that so i'm uh, pretty much a visual okay so when they come into the door i give them the whole spiel the education um about what I learned since I've been in this business, mm -hmm. about the hair, and then pretty much 99% I'm convinced them to buy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if they go somewhere else and they're fine, I mean, if they're in Los Angeles or some other place and they're not finding hair divas, because you see um, in lots of different markets, people market things as hair is real Indian hair, mm -hmm. um, all of that. How can you tell that I'm buying hair? If it comes in a package, it's not virgin. Mm -mm. Okay, well that's the first thing. If it comes in a package, it's not... But now, um, now they're being um, crafty and like, not packaging the hair at all because of the um, the, um, the temple hair. Okay, So they're wow. just trying to be like being creative and um, um, crafty, but like if you are a um, um, weed wear mm -hmm. uh, for many years, or even not, you, could, you know by sight when you come into my establishment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, let's talk more specifically about hair divas. Okay. So you just... Um, you mentioned earlier that you're celebrating your five-year anniversary, so yay, claps all around for that. <laughs> claps all around for five years. So, um, how did Hair Divas come to be? Where did you start? We're in San Leandro, California right now. Um, tell okay. us about Hair Divas. I'll tell you from the beginning, I was in corporate America. Mm -hmm. I have um, 27 years in finance. I um, got laid off from my job in a recession, mm -hmm. and, um, like everybody else, in 2010. Had no idea what I was going to do. And mm -hmm. what, but was not upset when mm -hmm. I got laid off. Don't even ask me why. Okay. So I'm my sole provider for my family. And two weeks later, a friend of mine asked me to ride to LA with her. Um, drive down the coast with her. And um, she had to take her some business. And when I got there, um, I discovered this hair. Because mm -hmm. I've never seen it before. And the establishment that I went in, the hair was on hangers. And it was just totally different. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, wow, I want this hair. So, of course, it was kind of pricey. So I wasn't expected to put that, mm -hmm. um, to pay for that then. So I came back a few um, weeks later. And I was um, to purchase my hair. And I was talking to the girls. So I ended up buying, like, a bulk of hair. Mm -hmm. And then, so I came back to the bag, sold it mm -hmm. quickly. And I did that a few times, and then I decided, like, ah, let me uh, let me go a little bit further and just uh, open up a store. Mm -hmm. Because we did not have this establishment in the Bay Area. Right. So that's how I got started. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Amazing. And you mentioned something, too, that um, I wanted to go back and touch on, which we didn't talk about, is the price of hair. Um, um, we talked about it from an industry perspective, but, you know, you can find stuff in the pack, you know, $10. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be human hair. Um, and... Uh, I don't know how much, you know, bulk hair or um, or uh, bundles cost, but can people get quality for a good price? Because everyone can afford to spend $300 just on hair. Yeah, absolutely not. Okay, so it is bulk hair or bundled hair um, affordable? But, well, it depends. It, it can be affordable if uh -huh. it's processed. Okay. Um, but the virgin hair is very expensive. Uh huh. Um, it's just expensive for me to buy. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to pay for quality. Okay. Yeah. And I think one of the things that you mentioned earlier, um, especially when we were looking at, at the wig, mm -hmm. is that it's real hair, so it's supposed to last and, um, indefinitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So because it lasts, does the stuff in the package last indefinitely? No, absolutely not. It's beautiful for like two days. Okay. And then it goes to a hot mess. Wow. Yeah. So you might be paying more uh, initially mm -hmm. for um, for the virgin hair, but it'll last you longer, and so you right. essentially pay less in the long run. Right. Well, you, uh, well, yeah, it depends. Um, I kind of make it try to affordable. I mean, I offer financing. I'm, I, I, I offer you financing. can finance some hair. I do offer. I would turn it off. I, I, <laughs> I do offer ways to um to make it affordable. I offer two um, ways of financing, mm -hmm. and then we have Lowway. Okay. So um a lot of our thirty percent of our business is Lowway. Wow. You put twenty uh, five percent down. You got two months to get it off. Okay. So, but that would be your final purchase for a while. Mm -hmm. So what happens with the hair? If you're gonna wear it for um long periods of time. The hair becomes thin off the weft. Mm -hmm. that'll, that'll, that'll happen. But okay. the integrity of the hair will be a lifetime. Okay, and that's just like your natural hair. You brush right. your hair every day, some right. of your hair comes out. So right. that, that's to be expected. Right. Okay, so Hair Divas, we know that um, that you you sell hair in, in bulk and uh, by bundle. Mm -hmm. I'm getting good. <laughs> <laughs> bulk and bundle. Um, where um, do people 
get their hair done because do all stylists know how to deal with this quality hair absolutely. and to put it in no absolutely not it's um it's a difference a slightly a, a tweak with the application okay um so we do offer a, a full instruction card of care and application mm -hmm. when every person leaves here and then we also do a personal console. Okay. So um, we do offer the services here. Okay. But I want to make sure that when they leave off the door, that their stylist is a, uh, fully aware of this here. And not even offer them to call me. Okay. I can walk them through the process. Okay. So yeah. you don't ruin your investment. Exactly. Okay. Awesome. And I think that this is one of the the instruction and, and care cards that mm -hmm. you get when you walk out the door from mm -hmm. Hair Divas. Awesome. Mm -hmm. One thing I wanted to mention also uh -huh. um, is like, uh, one thing the government did say, you can have one single strand in a, a package, a bundle, a wig, a closure, or whatever contains of hair, to label that as 100% human. That's how they get what? away with it. That's how they get away with it. So what is the rest of it then? It's a synthetic feel, a blend. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you, you know, because some of this stuff, you know, is not cheap in the package. You know, mm -hmm. I, you know, wear my hair in braids all the time and you know buy human hair and or labeled as human hair mm -hmm. you spend a hundred dollars something just for one pack um but i'm not getting i might have one strand of human hair in that and the rest is synthetic mm -hmm. absolutely how do they get away with this i just told you because one strand in that package one single strand is human so something in that package is human it's like a marketing wow yeah guys wow yeah, that's how they get away with it Cause you can walk into a beauty supply and get the Tasha hair that says 100% human, mm -hmm. and you go to the um, higher end what they sell is the Bobby Bra Boss Indie Remy, uh -huh. and that'll say 100% human. But wow! An Indian Remy is that hair from India mm -hmm. that's just been processed? Not. No, it's just a name that China created. What? <laughs> Take note. Do you offer any hair education classes? We are going to get that into this um, this coming year. Wow, yeah. it's needed. I know yeah. that I don't know any better. So, um, what else do you want people to know about Hair Divas? Um, Hair Divas, uh, we're all about education. We're all about quality. We're all about just giving you the education that you need to spend your money wisely. Awesome. And where can people who want to find more information about you or who want to shop find you? You can go to our website at www.hairdivasdistributor.com or you can come into our um, storefront at 15301 Hesperian Boulevard in San Leandro. Awesome. This has been so informative to me, eye-opening, um, puzzling, and I look forward to learning more. I hope that you all do too. Thank you so much, Anne. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>